everybody. My first video out to the uh, Friends of High School Park board because Robin Eisman asked some great questions this morning. Now that we're trying to kickstart our FH, our Arts in the Park sponsorship early, um, we want to kind of separate out the emotional aspects of being nervous about approaching people from the technical part of giving them what they need to make a decision. It's not like we're trying to sell them something. We're trying to share with them an opportunity for their business that they will either see as consistent with their business goals or they won't. If they won't, they won't sponsor. And if they do, they will sponsor. Or at least they'll have follow-up questions and details and maybe some uh, ideas they want to talk about as far as really promoting their marketing objectives. And the good news is you don't really have to Talk to them about that if you don't want to. You can take this as far as you're comfortable because as soon as they have questions or they express some interest, you know, you turn them over to someone whose uh, specialty is designing the sponsorship so it really works for them. Um, and as far as the comfort level, you know, some people just aren't comfortable reaching out in this way at all. So you may not be comfortable, but we can have the marketing materials, make it as simple as we can, and you still might have to do battle with butterflies and some nervousness as you're reaching out to them or procrastination. You'll notice yourself putting off the simple call to someone you know uh, could make a decision or know people who could make a decision about becoming a sponsor. And a lot of what we need to do I'm mixing back and forth here between the technical aspects of, you know, what we need to do is find out the process at a particular company for making this decision. Chances are in the bigger companies, especially the reason we want to start early is because it's more of a corporate process. There may be some more paperwork or layers we have to go through. And the initial call is really about just getting clear what those steps are so we can start taking them. Um, but back to the, whoops, sorry. Back on the emotional side, you know, just notice all that going on as far as the butterflies and the nervousness and reach out and have the call because once you start talking, your commitment and interest in the park and in making something available to the person on the other end is going to win the day and they're going to say they're interested or they're not or here's what you need to do so we can dis discover whether or not this is something we want to participate in. And no matter what happens on that call, it doesn't matter. It's okay. If they're not interested, good. Now we know they're not. If they are, great. What should we do next? So simplify it. Let us know what you need. If you want to talk more about it, great. And really, it's just a beautiful thing to have as many of us as possible engaged in the process this early on. Because when you break down the numbers, if each of us pulls in a new $500 sponsor, which is not a big commitment for the exposure and the participation and the goodwill, then we meet our goals and exceed our goals and help ourselves in a bigger way. So it's something that's been in the, you know, overdue. And, um, you know, we just have to stick to it. It'll work out great. So, all right, good. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.